Welcome back guys, welcome back to another review. We've got here the Nerf Reflex. So I can see this being quite a short, quick review because there's not many features. It's only a tiny little pistol here. So at the top of this blaster, we do actually have a rail here to actually fit a sight of some sort, a torch, a laser, probably be bigger than the gun. Got a standard trigger, and that's about it apart from how to load and shoot this gun. To load, just take any standard dart, push it into the end of the pistol itself, cock it back on the top. You can tell when it's cocked because you've got this orange tube that shows at the back. Pull the trigger, and it's as easy as that. The handle on that is very, very small, so for someone with big hands, you're gonna struggle to actually get your hands around this. Fits only about one of my fingers around this blaster. Another downside with this is there's nowhere to store additional darts, so make sure you have plenty on yourself. So what we'll do is we'll actually put it to the test and see how powerful it is and do some shooting. So thanks for watching the review guys, this has been the Nerf Reflex, quite a cool little blaster, but it's downfalls, the handle's quite short, there's nowhere to store darts on this blaster, it's just a single shot sort of quick reaction blaster here. Look at this, it's not too bad, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan of the orange thing that comes out of the back here for the look. The handle's quite small, so it's not very good to sort of fit in your hand, but as for the power, it's not too bad for a standard Nerf blaster to be fair and it does have a railing at the top for the size of it for some sort of attachment, so it's got some positives. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back with loads more reviews of Nerf blasters, gel soft guns and airsoft guns. Stay tuned, we've got loads more coming. See you soon.